This video is about craniosynostosis. Craniosynostosis means premature fusion of cranial sutures. This can lead to various skeletal growth abnormalities of the skull. Before starting, if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so that you will not miss out any of my upcoming videos. I uh, will be making medical videos on all subjects in med school. Okay, So make sure to hit the subscribe button right now. And also don't forget to check out the merch. The link is in the description, cards and the comment section of this video. Now let's see the basics of cranial sutures. And these are the most important cranial sutures you must know. Apart from this, there are so many other sutures, but, uh, but uh, let's focus on the most important sutures. Anteriorly, we have a metopic suture, which is present between the frontal bones. Now, this suture is the first to fuse uh, of all. And in the coronal direction, we have coronal suture, uh, which, uh, which goes in the coronal direction. And posteriorly, uh, we have a suture which goes uh, in the sagittal direction. Uh, it is known as sagittal suture and it splits posteriorly into two sutures known as lambdoid sutures. Now, these are the most important sutures you must know first. Now, what actually happens if the sutures fuse very early? Uh, now see this picture, we have two sides of skull and we have sutures which have not fused yet. What will happen is that there will be growth of the skull in the direction perpendicular to the sutures. Okay? So if the suture is present in th this direction, the skull is going to grow in the perpendicular direction so that it will elongate and it will be able to adapt the growing brain. Okay? So that is what happens normally. And what happens if the sutures fuse very early? If the sutures fuse very early, uh, the cranium or the skull will not be able to grow in the perpendicular direction to the sutures, which means they will not be able to grow properly to, uh, uh, to contain the growing brain. Okay, What will happen instead of that is that they will start to grow parallelly to the fused sutures. Now, this will lead to various uh, abnormalities of the skull. Okay leading to cranial uh, this is what is actually cranial synostosis this can lead to various abnormalities of the skull first we have trigonocephaly um, this is because of very early fusion of the metopic suture normally metopic suture is expected to fuse at about two months of age but if it fuses very early than that we can have trigonocephaly in which the in which the forehead of the child looks like a triangle okay that is trigonocephaly then we have brachycephaly. This is because of early fusion of coronal sutures on both sides. Because of fu early fusion of coronal sutures on both sides, um, the skull will not be able to uh, grow, uh, uh, elongate in the anterior posterior direction properly, leading to a uh, short skull, which is known as brachycephaly. And then we have anterior plagiocephaly. On contrary to what we saw in the previous thing, um, what happens here is that there will be very early fusion of coronal suture only on one side. Okay, So there will be unilateral coronal suture fusion uh, early compared to the other side uh, coronal suture. So this is what happens in anterior plagiocephaly and this gives rise to a, a deformed skull. And we have posterior plagiocephaly in which the coronal suture is normal but one side lambda suture fuses early. Okay. Unilateral lambda suture fuses early, leading to um, further, uh, leading to skull deformities. This is posterior plagiocephaly, and then we have deformation plagiocephaly. In this picture, you can see that all the sutures are intact. Nothing have, nothing has fused uh, early here. The sutures looks normal, but this, uh, so this is not because of uh, early fusion of sutures. This is actually because of flattening of the skull due to being in same position for a long time. If the child is lying in the same position for a long time uh, without changing its position, the skull can get com can get compressed and it can lead to deformation plagiocephaly. Okay, and then we have scaphocephaly in which the sagittal suture fuses early. Now, oxycephaly or tergicephaly means tall cranium. As you can see in this picture, uh, the, the cranium or the skull of the child is actually uh, very tall. Now, this happens in many of the craniosynostosis conditions. Okay, So, I, I try to remember tericephaly, uh, tall cranium, T4, T. Okay? And we have a syndrome known as Appert syndrome. Appert syndrome is an autosomal dominant condition 
and it is because of a mutation of the fibroblast growth factor gene or FGF gene. This uh, condition is characterized by bicoronal synostosis, which means the coronal switches on both sides fuses early. I hope you remember what by uh, what this can lead to. The fusion, early fusion of coronal switches on both sides can lead to brachycephaly, okay, as we saw already. Now, apart from that, there will be other, uh, other features like maxillary hypoplasia, flat midface, proptosis, hypertelorism, low set ears, complex syndactyly, high arched palate, malocclusion, cleft palate, so many other conditions. So these are basically, uh, most of the things are basically because of the abnormality of the skull growth. Uh, because of uh, because the skull is not able to grow properly, the mid face will be hypoplastic, and uh, that's why they appear flat. And the maxillary region also becomes hypoplastic. Um, the eyes will be popping out of the skull a little bit, and that is uh, proptosis. And then the eyes are placed wide apart. The two eyes are actually the distance between the two eyes. Uh, two eyes is increased leading to hypertelorism and then there will be low set ears um, as you saw in the previous picture where it was obvious and we have complex syndactyly. Now, what is complex syndactyly? Syndactyly means fusion of fingers. Now we have two types of syndactyly, simple and complex. Simple syndactyly is the one in which the, the, the fingers are fused just by skin or the underlying connective tissue. But in the case of complex syndactyly, the fingers are fused by bones or cartilages. Okay, so it is kind of uh, uh, it is kind of fused by bones. Okay, that is complex syndactyly, and that is what is commonly seen in Apert syndrome. And because of the tall uh, skull, they are they can have high arched palate, and because of that, they may develop malocclusion of teeth. And most other children with Apert syndrome also have associated cleft palate. Okay. Then there is a similar syndrome known as Crouzon syndrome, which is also an autosomal dominant condition. And this is because of mutation in FGFR2 or FGFR3. These are fibroblast growth factor receptor. Okay, so mutation of these can lead to Crouzon syndrome. Now, this is also bicoronal synostosis. So it also leads to brachycephaly. And um, the reason for proptosis is the same as in upper syndrome. And this also leads to mid-phase hypoplasia and they, uh, the Crouzon syndrome may be associated with cervical spinal abnormalities in some cases. But remember that the Crouzon syndrome causes less severe deformity than Apert syndrome. Okay, the, the, uh, the features like syndactyly may not be present in Crouzon syndrome at all. Okay, so the deformities caused, uh, deformities present will be less severe in Crouzon syndrome compared to Apert syndrome. That's it for today. We have similar syndromes like Carpenter syndrome and Fever syndrome, uh, in which uh, the, in which we can see the cranial uh, because of cranial synostosis, there can be various abnormalities of the growth of the skull. You can check out uh, these syndromes in any textbook or in internet. And we came to the end of this video. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and also check out my blog. The links are in the description of this video. And if you want to support my channel, you can support by donating on Patreon. The link is in the description as well. And you can don't forget to check out the merch. These are designed by me and they are available in various colors. And the links of the merch is also available in the comment section, description and the cards. And don't forget to hit the like button right now and leave your suggestions and feedback in the comment section below. And share this video to your friends and tell them to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's free of cost and you'll get access to all my uh, medical videos. Okay, so consider subscribing.